Man, what's good, man? Bring you a video today by Slot to Him. Shout out to Slot to Him. I ain't gonna do the intro. I think I'm gonna do intros for some videos, not all the time though. But um, this one right here, most people can't sit through these eerie videos. So you about to see how eerie these videos is, man. Bring this shit up on the mini player. Plus play, rock out. Make sure my volume right. Tell me what y'all think about this shit in the comments. Hmm. That motherfucker, I don't even need these right now. Close this out to this computer screen anyway. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary videos that are starting to spook the internet. So I'll be on they Reddit, uh, I'll be in they Reddit, uh, group content. too, man. They sub Reddit like posts, that shit, that shit dope. <laughs> they got mad content there. Niggas posting every day. A family in Missouri, USA claims to have caught the moment their toddler was harassed by some kind of paranormal entity. In May 2022, the parents of this toddler were shocked to see an eerie moment captured on their baby cam. Take a look. What the fuck is that noise? Like, it must be the TV or something. Oh shit. Baby crying. Watching Baby that again, was trying the to cry. appears to be sleeping peacefully. Oh. When suddenly it looks like something pushes the child. At a loss to explain the bizarre event, the family turned to the paranormal well, like the for baby an explanation, still, still, though, believing like, some kind of presence may have pushed their yo, that's child. Crazy. Many viewers agree with the parents and believe yeah, that the wild. motion looks like a deliberate shove. Y'all see that shit? Others tried to reassure the parents that it was nothing more than a fitful twitch and that the poor child simply woke herself up. But what do you think? Was the child pushed or woke up with a start? Let me know where you land on this in the comments down below. This next eerie photo was uploaded to our Facebook Tell community page by Jocelyn ghosts, Default. Bro. Jocelyn Rhymes. She about to fight. This Fuck picture is about. about 10 years old. The cousin of my daughter's friend was babysitting this young girl and was taking photos of her dancing to a Disney movie. This very creepy dark figure showed up behind her in one of the photos. This is 100% authentic and very upsetting to all involved. In the picture, you can indeed see a shadowy figure standing behind the young girl. It's dense and amorphous and seems to be devoid of light altogether. In a follow-up comment, Jocelyn notes that she expects doubters and that it's good to be skeptical, and agrees that the photo is almost hard to believe, but maintains that the image is 100% real. Most of our viewers who saw the image posted agreed that the figure was frightening. A lot of people were genuinely concerned for her family's safety and recommend calling a priest. All these years later, the family and everyone involved still can't explain the ominous figure in the photo and say it's still incredibly unnerving to see. I bet. How many you got left? Only two left. This bizarre little clip was shared to Twitter by Sidio Paranormal. It shows a couple of friends filming themselves goofing around. There's only two, so I Just because he is alive. Working? No. That's when suddenly this happens. Give it a bit. What's it? 
Again, the camera holder is distracted by the door in the other room rattling. What's it? No, 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 no. What, what? What? It then swings open and the ironing board falls over for what seems like no reason at all. What? Look! What? Let me out, let me out. The two men are clearly spooked and the clip ends abruptly. What, what? Dude! What? Look! What? Look! Let me out, let me out, let me out. Unfortunately, he said, let me out. One of those bite sized ghost things <laughs> that have no information attached at all. I wouldn't no one seems to know Fuck where this that, was nigga. filmed or by who. You can't come off my house so either. So now it'll have to remain you meet a mysterious up outside snippet in a public place destined or something. to be retweeted into the nether. <laughs> Hell nah, boy. Dude, 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 dude. What, what? Dude, what? Look, what? Look. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Urban exploration is a common source for truly scary videos, as more and more brave explorers take on the challenge of visiting some of the world's most haunted locations. In this video, YouTuber Terra Al Extremo visits an abandoned hospital in Tlatelolco, Mexico, that many believe is haunted. Oh well, yeah, I want to do that. Hospitals are a common target for urban explorers. In a place where many people live out the final moments of their lives. It isn't surprising that abandoned hospitals are often hotbeds of paranormal activity. There have been numerous reports of inexplicable supernatural events at this particular site, including the apparition of a young girl. The video we're about to show is riddled with eerie activity. The group sets out to investigate. To start things off, a subtle dark figure can be seen in a hallway adjacent to where the group is exploring. As the figure is so far away, it's hard to tell if it's something supernatural, or perhaps just another person exploring the abandoned building, or even a homeless person seeking shelter. But then, as the camera pans back to the host of the video, something unnerving happens. Keep an eye on the doorway just behind the man's right shoulder. If you slow the footage down, an eerie black shadow oh, word. comes by That's the doorway, wild. unbeknownst to the group filming. They ain't even see that shit. Seconds later, it passes by again. What many Later people want to go to these places, the man? That's crazy. The building. Are they doing that shit for views? That's one thing I wouldn't The cameraman do. decides to poke the camera through a gap in a doorway that leads to a room that they don't have access to. Check out what the camera captures. Is that ours? There, standing at the back of the inaccessible oh, room, not is a got a part of there. Fuck entity. that. If you slow it down, there's no defining features. It's just a solid black form staring at the camera. As the team investigates further, they begin hearing strange sounds. At first, you can hear some local kids Hell playing no, somewhere the in the fuck? distance. Bruh. But then, a slightly more they eerie bugging. noise comes from the room at the end of the hall. Take a listen. <laughs> hey yo, that's not funny. So chilling is that the team goes to find its source in the room ahead, but they find out of no ran. One. Hell no, nah, I got up out the building, nigga. You got me fucked up, bro. They jumped hard as hell. He looked like he's ready to run. He looked like he's about to say, "You ready to go?" Later, in a darkened hallway, they hear even more terrifying sounds. Listen. 
That's like hearing a witch on Left 4 Dead. Back, at first, it sounds like a wounded animal. But the moans that follow sound distinctly human. <laughs> As if this wasn't enough to brown your trousers and leave immediately, the crew musters up the courage to press on. That's when one of the voices perhaps says the name Harry. It's very clearly a woman's voice. But the nearby rooms are completely empty. The group calls out to make contact with the person in the dark, but they don't respond. What's crazy is that they continue to hear they in Mexico talking, and the but the motherfucking woman or whatever the Yet voice the is is speaking English. Like what? Building. Hey man, some crazy shit happened in Mexico, huh? I guess that's what we finding out what's going on with these missing people, huh? In America, where they ending up at. At one point, it sounds like someone saying, shh. Look like they don't want a hundred feet underground and shit. Again, there's no one in any of the rooms. The cherry that tops this trouser soiling adventure is yet to come. At around the 58 minute mark, as the group start to wind down the video, keep an eye on the back of the hallway. What the fuck is that? If you slow it down, you can see another solid black entity crawl past. The group seems to have no idea. This clip has garnered a lot of attention within the paranormal community. With so much activity caught in just one video, the episode has been scrutinised and analysed frame by frame. Some think that a lot of the encounters can be chalked up to homeless people using the building as a shelter. But with so many voices, noises and visuals backed up by endless empty rooms with no one in sight, it's hard to tell what's real and what's not. And that's not to mention the strange black entities seen in rooms that you can't even get access to. All in all, this is truly a mysterious video. It goes for well over an hour and is packed with strange events, some of which we couldn't even fit in this episode. It's well worth a watch on its own, and as always, there's links in the description box below. Back in 2015, a farmer in Achakulak, Russia, filmed this extraordinary footage. Take a look. As the camera holder walks through rural farmland, some 400 kilometers north of the Georgian border, a heavy swarm of locusts. Yeah, the locusts. The I knew that's what it was. Y'all missed that before, right before COVID, man. It was locusts from Africa, all these countries, man, tearing up all the crops. That's why food and shit expensive now. That's why the prices keep going. They're not trying to say that shit, but look, man, things happening that they niggas can't prevent. At the time this footage was captured, they the had the crop to with declare a state of emergency in the area. That. Like, they the locusts the were devouring entire crops indiscriminately. Over 800,000 hectares of farmland was affected as the insects destroyed vast fields of corn and other grains. When the footage first hit the internet, many said it was a sign of the end of days. 
According to the book of Exodus, the ten plagues of Egypt were a sign of God's wrath upon the earth. The eighth great plague was that of locusts. Exodus 10.3.6 says, They'll cover the face of the ground so that it cannot be seen. They'll devour what little you have left after the hail, including every tree that's growing in your fields. My fucking uh, GoPro fell and shit. So how would you react if a plague of locusts <sighs> this dense hit your hometown? Would you run into it and film it, or fear the incoming yeah, I think rat? I'm gonna go get a, a tripod stand for a new tripod stand for my phone, because I can't find a clip that attached to my GoPro, so or I'll just get a new clip. I think I'm gonna just get a new clip. Call it a day. In October 2021, a popular vape and e-liquid store in England purported to have captured evidence of a ghostly haunting in their basement. In the days leading up to the event, the staff of the Bennett's Hill store in Birmingham had suspected that the building might be haunted. The alleged paranormal activity got so bad that they set up a series of night vision cameras around the property to try and get some evidence that something strange was happening. Take a look at what one of their cameras captured. Don't fuck around like that, man. Hell nah. The building was once home to a bank dating back to 1835. <laughs> you can see the oh, heavy bank. Door what the fuck this nigga doing, man? He looking for money still in the afterlife? He trying to rob a bank in the afterlife? Bro, there's no money there, my nigga. It's gone, bro. Somebody took it already, my nigga. Sorry to hurt your feelings, my dude. He mad as According to the owner of the vape company, shortly after they moved into the building, staff were Bro, reporting imagine noises this nigga do this shit every a night. strange atmosphere in the basement. <laughs> According to historians, the building became a popular watering hole in 1883. Then, in 1895, publican Henry Skinner sacked one of his employees, Arthur Allen, over a wage dispute. Things escalated quickly. Allen grabbed a gun and shot his boss in the cellar. Local legend says that Henry Skinner has haunted the basement of the building ever since. Since this eerie footage was captured, the vape store owner she has crazy. maintained that it's not a trick of any sort, and says to this day he gets freaked out when he has to go into the basement. <laughs> freaked out for what? Like, yo, this guy's crazy. What are you gonna do? He looking for money, nigga, obviously. He better bring some dollars or coins down there for his ass. Before Shit. we take a listen to some creepy sounds that have been captured in the Canadian wilderness. Pull that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Shout out Slap Ham, man. Always uploading in 2019, shit. a clip recorded in the Canadian wilderness went viral after it captured some scary sounding scary howls screams. emanating from the woods. Take a listen at what's been captured. Oh no. Nah. What the fuck is that? Don't go, don't, don't go camping in Canada. 39-year-old Gino Nikas was out yo. hunting grouse in a forest it in ain't northern worth Ontario it. with his wife and grandson when they heard the unsettling noise. Well, it's time to go, guys. Like, for real. Pack my shit, nigga. Man, y'all tell me what y'all think that could be in the comments, man, because... Look, bro, that shit crazy. They got skinwalkers, all types of crazy shit. You know, these ancient sad stories of and shit so tell me what y'all think this shit could be i don't know that shit sound crazy as fuck
That shit don't sound like no wolf or nothing or no bear or anything. Like, not even a lion. I don't know. I ain't hear that shit before. Never. The group were in a rural area about 45 kilometers away from Sioux Lookout. Mika's told news outlets that at first he thought it might be a moose or a wolf, but the more he listened to it, the more he wasn't so sure. Biologists from Ontario's Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry. At least I ain't tripping, like I said. I ain't never heard that sound before. After hearing this so many times, it's like, nah, that can't be no damn animal. I don't know. Maybe it is. But like I said, I never heard that no, no uh, animal sound like that before, so. Analyzed the sounds, but were at a loss to identify what could be causing it. Look at that. They said it could be a large mammal, but ultimately couldn't say for certain. Mika showed the footage to local elders and hunters familiar with the area, and they too couldn't explain the sounds. When the footage first hit social media, it faced some backlash that it might be a hoax. However, Mika has staunchly defended the footage, saying that people can believe whatever they want, and that he didn't go out into the wilderness that day just to make a hoax video. Of course, a fair contingent of viewers declared the howling evidence of a Sasquatch living in the area. Mm. Speaking of Sasquatch, that might be true, even though I really don't believe in it, because we still haven't seen no motherfucking foot. Look, every time they got footage of Sasquatch, the damn video is blurry, like a motherfucking old UFO video, like shitty quality. So, I don't know, with that being said, like I was saying, they got a forest, some property, I forgot where it's at, they got some land where people just go missing. When they go there, they just fucking up, bro. They just appear, they just go missing. And their face get put up on a tree. When you walk up in there, it's an entrance. Well, the entrance is closed now with a fence, but it was open to the public. Anybody could go there. But the thing is that people will be, every time somebody go there, they end up missing. So why would you allow people to keep coming on the land? So the more people go to post up pictures, are they missing folks? The more people end up missing. That shit was crazy. Then, when they, somebody made a complaint, instead of the motherfucking cops and stuff get a search team and search the property and the land and shit and listen to what people were saying and shit because they was reporting that they seen some type of Sasquatch being there, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers left that shit alone they put up a no trespassing sign on the fence like what niggas like almost a hundred people dead and missing and that walked inside this fucking little section of the forest and now it's gone and you just put up a no trespassing sign see look man that shit don't make you want to ask questions I don't know what will Ultimately, though, even after experts in the field, elders and hunters analyzed the footage, there's been no definitive explanation for these bizarre sounds. Can't get enough of the hey man, smash that like and subscribe button. Tell me what you think about these airy videos, man. Shout out to Slot Ham, and I'm out, gang.